Over the course of four days, we're going to help three high-performing athletes drive the golf ball farther than they ever imagined. Distance takes your game to the next level. We're going to show people how they can do it. Now it's time to gather data to refine their swings and increase distance. Numbers aren't looking good, Matt. <laughs> Total distance 281. Club head speed 112 miles an hour. That's really good. I want to see what you can get to if you really try to let one go. If we get that club back a little more, you get more arc, you're going to get a lot more speed yet. A little faster back, faster down. Full speed, everything you got. I got a new driver for you. It's a little bit faster. Let's go hit some. A lot of people think if they speed their swing up, they're going to lose control. The amount of distance you have, it's related to the speed you can produce, because it's like 2.5 yards per mile an hour. Three hundred and nineteen yards. It was almost 118 miles an hour. Wow. You did a good job there. That's awesome. All right, good job. Thank you so much. OK, Alex, your yeah. turn, bud. You ready? Right, let's try it. Let's see what you got. Can't argue with physics, Alex. Let's see it, Matt. Here we go. Oh, that was low. That was low. I hit the ball, though. Yes, you did. Let's <laughs> try it again. There it is. Average speed for a male golfer is about 85 miles an hour. So you're just like right there with everything. You're not the average athlete. We need to go faster than that for sure. Try it again. Do it again. The big problem is what's called the attack angle. 7.9, meaning that you're hitting down 7.9 degrees. You're coming down like this. Let's say you hit up, you know, one or two degrees. That would be, be great. Full speed. Yes. The louder the swish, the better. Good. But yeah. that is huge improvement. 102 miles an hour club head speed. You change your angle of approach from hitting down seven degrees to hitting up 1.6 degrees, 252 yards. That's pretty impressive. Way to go. We had a little work to do. You're going to do better, though. Corey, let's get to work. All right, boys. All right, 208 yards. We want to swing two or three degrees from in to out. You're swinging nine degrees across it. I always tell people, if there's a road you take to playing good golf, nowhere on that road is there a slice. More to the right like this. Let's put it to work. We need to get the club face more closed relative to the path of your swing. The ball is doing this. Like you're going to hit it right toward me. That's what we want. There we go. 291 yards. Wow. Your spin rate was 2,760. If that was at 2,200, you'd be over 300 yards with that drive. But your angle coming into the ball, you were hitting up almost one degree, which is great. It's awesome. You got something to work on. Good job. Well, the guys are going to practice, and we'll see how they do. There's usually some regression, but the good news is, is that they'll get it back a lot quicker than they used to, or you know, maybe they never had it before. It's a free for all. We're going to get out of that tee up. All right, last one. Save it for tomorrow. 